Last month I started a series in which I took you around the world to look at hundreds of these strange circular scars in the earth. They are for the most part just the remains of colossal circularly disposed antenna arrays, or CDAAs, based around a German design known as Vullenweber. There's only a handful in use nowadays, but since World War II they've provided a listening gear with a difference, in that they pinpoint the location of a radio transmission with an extremely high degree of accuracy. We looked at the prototypes, we looked at the US military's FLR-9 and FRD-10 variants, we looked at the Russian Krug and other Soviet versions, and we looked at the Plessy Pusher, used by various governments and military organisations across the globe. Yes, globe. It really isn't flat. If you'd like to look at my previous videos in this series, then there's a link to the playlist below and at the end of this one. But for now, let's head over to Japan. We'll be looking at an array of CDAA sites that fall into various categories. We'll check out the Japanese Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications sites, Japanese military sites, and some miscellaneous. There's a mix of FRD-10 and other smaller variants of the Vullenweber type array in use across Japan. Starting with the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications sites, these were used by Japan's telecommunications regulator, their version of the FCC or Ofcom, for the tracing of rogue signals and harmful interference on the behalf of both civil organisations and the military. This circle seems to be long defunct, with no trace of an antenna array left in place. It belonged to the ASO Radio Direction Measuring Station, a research institute I can't find any information on, but it was used by the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications. As we arrive at our next site, I'll answer a commonly asked question. Most of these CDAA sites are now unused, so what's replaced them? Well, from my research, the circles are often filled with an interferometer. These arrays use monopulse, a technique where the received echoes from different elements of an antenna are used to estimate the direction of arrival of a signal. This helps estimate the location of a signal, so like their predecessors the Vullenwebers, the circles are still used for HF direction finding. I suspect that the interferometers that fill these old sites were chosen because they require much less space and much less maintenance. In other cases, smaller circular arrays that resemble a simpler Vullenweber design have been installed. Anyway, this is a classic repurposed CDAA circle. It forms part of the Togain Radio Direction Measuring Station and uses these HF loops to locate signals. The view from the road gives us a clear view of the phased loops, and this site appears to be remotely operated. Next, we arrive at the Chitose Radio Direction Finding Station. This rural road is concealed from view in Google Earth, but we can clearly see some sort of antenna system in place, albeit not a Vullenweber anymore. Our next stop is an example where the circle outline of the former antenna site is completely gone. On the corner of the plot is a circle concrete structure with an antenna on the top. What it is, I can't be sure, but I would suggest it's nothing to do with radio direction finding anymore. And our final Ministry of Internal Affairs site is the Suzu Radio Measurement Station. This is a remote site out in the forest that likely has more of the HF loops we saw before, but it's hard to tell. There's also a similar cabin to the Togain site as well. Now we'll move on to some Japanese military sites. Japan has 19 major facilities that intercept, monitor, collect, process and analyse foreign electronic signals. Official statements convey nothing of the scale or detail of the Japanese SIGINT effort, which is probably the third or fourth largest SIGINT establishment in the world. These Japanese ground signals interception and location facilities are integrated with its air and missile defence radar sites. Together with Japan's own long-range underwater surveillance systems, and combined with the parallel Japan-based United States air, ground and underwater surveillance systems, they take Japan a very long way towards its stated aim to ensure information supremacy in the region. The Defence Intelligence Division Detachment has primary responsibility for operation of the eight major SIGINT stations at Wakanai, Nomoro, Chitose, Kobunato, Oi, Miho, Tachiari and Kikaijima. Seven of the major defence intelligence HQs and Japanese ground self-defence force stations have HFDF systems. 
The huge elephant cages or FRD10s at Miho, Chitose and Kikaijima are the most sensitive. They can intercept HF signals out to a range of about 5,000 kilometers or more, with a bearing accuracy of about one half of a degree. So let's look at the first three of the seven sites. Looking at Miho first, this station monitors North Korean signals, firstly with its FRD-10 Vullenweber that was operational in December 1977. Now the site is occupied with a newer, larger array. Then at Higashi Chitose, we can see the FRD-10 Vullenweber array again for allegedly monitoring North Korean radio communications. This former US military station's FRD-10 is the same as what would have been at Miho, and that was installed in 1987. A smaller 8-element CDAA was installed by 2009, and at the moment it monitors Russian signals. There's also some SATCOM radomes for monitoring Russian communication satellites or COMSATs. And then Kikajima apparently monitors Chinese radio signals. There's no visible trace of the old FRD-10, but the newer array is clear to see in Google Earth. Moving on to the remaining four of the seven intelligence sites, a new seven element system was installed at Wakanai, Nimoro, Kobonato and Tachiari in 2008 to 2010. They consist of seven masts about 13 meters high, deployed in a circle with a radius of 40 meters. It has a circumference of about 351.3 meters and a distance between each mast of about 36 meters. At Wakanai, Nimoro and Kobonato, the seven element systems replaced 36 element systems with two concentric circular arrays of 18 masts covering the lower and higher parts of the HF band which had been built in 1988, 1991 and 92 and 1988 respectively. At Tachiari, the new seven element system replaced an old eight element HFDF array. Similar systems had previously been at Miho, Kobunato and Kikajima, but these were dismantled when their larger CDAAs became operational. So let's look at these four sites. The Japanese Air Self-Defense Force Station at Wakanai had an ANFLR-12 panoramic data collection system installed in 1965 to 1966. The Japan Ground Self-Defense Force 301 Coastal Surveillance Unit maintained a 36-element HFDF array from 1988 to 2009, and the new 7-element array was constructed in 2009. The site at Higashi Nomoro had a JFLR2 panoramic data collection system installed in the 1980s. 
the Japan Ground Self-Defence Force 302 Coastal Surveillance Unit maintained a 36-element CDAA here from 1991 to 2011, and the new 7-element array was constructed in 2010. You can see the old site here, and just north is the Higashi Nomuro Japanese Air Self-Defence Force subbase, and a couple of miles further north is the new 7 element array situated next to another part of the base. Nimoro Station covers a broad strip of the northern Pacific Ocean. The Kobunato Station monitors the Russian Far East. A 36 element CDAA was installed in 1988 and replaced by the new 7 element version in 2009. And finally we arrive at the Directorate for Signals Intelligence Tachiari Communications Station and this secure facility next to the highway. This new 7 element system replaced an old 8 element HFDF array and is apparently used by the Defence Intelligence Headquarters to monitor signals from North Korea. Now we come to a site just outside Camp Hansen, a United States Marine Corps base located in Okinawa that is also home to the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force. This is the former US Army Security Field Station at Sobe, which is now used by the Japanese military, and it had a large Vullenweber array during the 1970s. Today there's some kind of HF interferometer and a smaller circle array within the original Vullenweber footprint. This site at Tuzato appeared sometime between 2007 and 2010 and is operated by the Japanese Coast Guard. It's a 7 element CDAA that sits next to the ocean and the low fence and road nearby allows us to see a clear view of the antenna elements that form the system. There are former US Navy operated Vullenwebers in Japan, such as the Misawa military base, and you can find the others detailed in the videos in the playlist below. However, just next to the main array at Misawa is a smaller array that was likely used by the US military as well as Japan in the Cold War era. And lastly, we finish our tour at Ibaraki, and this site was once home to a CDAA that has been completely replaced with a solar farm. So that's a look at Japan's former and evolved Vullenweber circles used for monitoring the airwaves to support the country's defence effort. <laughs>